Hi guys. So I have not done a not unboxing in quite some time. And I know, honestly, not a ton of people watch these ones, but I'm doing it for me. You know, that's half of what makeup is, especially during COVID right now. So got our new hair. It's a rocking. A lot of people are not liking it, but who cares? And today we're just going to do some of my current favorites and just a quick get ready with me. And talk about some of the freaking awesome products I have been working with lately. So, let's get right into it. First of all, starting with primer. I have had this one for a really long time. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. And it took me a really long time to actually even like it. I just started using it recently. Um, I've always had really oily skin. And out of nowhere, well, probably because I'm in Utah during the winter, but my skin has been really dry. So I have decided I really need to use a little bit more moisturizing products like this. So it's actually really nice. Feels like putting a moisturizer on, but you can kind of feel that silky feeling of... A lot of primers have afterwards. I can't even think of what it's called, but if you use primer, you know. Also, ooh, itchy nose. I also like to go in with, on top of it, with the e.l.f. putty primer. I'm going to get right up here, and I'm going to get a little vulnerable right now. I don't know if you can see, but I have really large pores. I have tried so much for it and it just, I mean, you can't get rid of pores. You can shrink them, you can hide them, but large pores are large pores, unfortunately. So if you can tell when I put this on, you'll see like all these little dots. That's where the pores are. I put it on fairly thick. I used to have issues with it getting kind of cakey, but since my skin has been drying up more, I haven't been having as many problems. So, I'm just going to kind of rub that in and make sure that it kind of gets all the way in there. So I tap and kind of like more massage it than anything. Sorry, I have a tendency to look, it'll look like I'm looking away, but I'm looking at myself in the camera. So I don't know if you can really tell, but I'll get close again. And it does fill them in quite a bit. And I have been using that more regularly. So normally I don't use this every single day, but because I'm talking about my new favorite products and what I've been loving lately, uh, I decided to show you. So I got these cushion color correctors. I got them on a boxy pop-up or add-ons for really cheap and I just fell in love with them. They come with these, but I don't really like the shape. Man, I'm gonna be itching my nose the whole time. So I have the pink here and if you don't know, pink is good for covering up darkness. You can see right here and here, I've got a lot of dark. So I'm gonna apply that onto just one eye and let you see that difference. Can you see that? How it kind of brightens it up. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I go and tell you I don't like this and then I use it anyways. All right. The pad, not the product. So we have that darkness covered. I also like to cover here just because I don't like getting any shadows. And really that's the only place that I feel concerned about getting dark spots right now at least. Then we have our green. And if you don't know, green is to cover up redness. So 
I have these blemishes right up here, of course. It's like I keep getting them in places that my mask doesn't cover. It's not wanting to cover perfectly right now. Sometimes if you take your finger and just put it on a little more like that, perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it around the area. And then, let's see, I'm not really seeing any other redness that's that big of a deal. I do like to put a little on my chin because my chin tends to not get as good a coverage because it's so bright red. So that is the Cushing Color Correctors. Just kind of blending them out a little bit. And this isn't a new product necessarily to me, but I have been using, I got this teeny, teeny, tiny, I got this teeny, teeny, tiny Tarte concealer and it is perfect to my shade. And I have been enjoying using it tiny. I mean, I have a big one, but I've been using the tiny one to just like dot on those, to spot conceal a little bit. And I feel like it's been working really well. And it'll go a long way when you're using this tiny guy just for that, so. Anyways, this is where we're at. And I'm gonna go into foundation. Now there is a lot of hype around this product right now and it is for good reason. It's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Holy moly, guys. Like, this is so much like the It Cosmetics one. It works so well. It's got SPF 30 in it. I am really, really enjoying it. So, normally, when I'm by myself, I'm just doing my own thing and not filming, I will do my eyes first. But, well, let's do our eyes first anyways. That's, that's how I do it. That's how we're going to do it. I'm using this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I will say I tend to like more of a white base. But I do think that this works well. If you don't use eyeshadow primer, let's just talk about some of the basics that I feel like nobody mentions and then I feel like an idiot when I find out later why something's not going right for me. It took me quite some time to realize that when you put eyeshadow primer on, you're supposed to set it with a powder. I did not know this. So it just like nothing would ever blend out. It was so frustrating. And now I know why. So if you have eyeshadow primer, make note of that. That is why you're not blending if you are not setting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that all down. Setting it would mean getting some kind of loose or some kind of powder. It doesn't have to be loose. If you don't have any setting powder, you can use a light shade of eyeshadow and just brush it really gently over the top. So now that that is set, I am going to tell you the palette I've been loving. It is the ColourPop Garden Variety. It's very, very beautiful. And I'm just going to kind of wing it. Sometimes I will try to like think about what I want to do ahead of time. I did think about what products I wanted to use and what I was loving, but I didn't really think about what I wanted to do. So hopefully this isn't like the longest video ever. I'm going to get this over the bloom right here. It's a really pretty pinky shade. It has a tiny bit of glitter in it, but I wouldn't call it a shimmer shade and put that in the crease. Do, do, do. I'm pretending like I'm speeding it up, you know, like and then adding music. Da, 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 da. 
Now, it might seem like, holy crap, this girl is using a lot of product. I have had comments before, like, you're putting so much eyeshadow on, like, keep using it before you dip back in. And I'm like, you have no idea how little I have on this brush. I like to build up. So, if you notice that, just know I'm, like, doing this tiny little dip, dip, dip. I mean, I'm not always doing that, but a lot of times I do this. So, that is why it might seem like I'm going in a lot. These colors are very, very pigmented. And I got a little too much there. So you don't need a lot at a time. So I'm going to get this prickly please and put it right on top and just kind of fade that out. And then I even like to kind of tap into both. So it just makes like a lighter shade of the one I had on. And bring it up as high as I like. I don't want to do like the nicest look in the world today because I'm afraid I'll take years if I do. So now I'm going to grab this stuck on you and focus it right here in the corner. And build it up. Building, building, building. And doing the same on the other side. I actually wasn't super into ColourPop until recently, and now I'm definitely hooked. I know people have talked about it forever, by the way. I am getting the stuck on you and putting a little dot of this color in just to kind of pull it slightly into the middle. But now I'm just absolutely loving it these days. It is so affordable. It is so pigmented. It's great quality. So if you have not tried it, do it. Like, definitely do it. You're doing yourself a favor. All right, now we have the Stuck On You Eyeshadow Primer from Beauty Crop. I like to use this to kind of cut my crease, except instead of cutting my I mean kind of cutting my crease it's not like an actual cut crease I'm just kind of putting down a base for my lid I'm gonna come in real close is there anyone else that just absolutely hates the silence like I'm so quiet right now, and I'm like, this is awkward. So now I'm going ahead and doing it on the other side. So now one thing, I'm kind of going to contradict myself, because I was talking about eyeshadow primer and how you have to set it and blah, blah, blah. However, when I go in and do this, I don't like to set it, because I feel like... My lids, I'm getting old lady lids these days. Aging, it's killing me, you know. But I don't really want to do that because I feel like it starts making my lids kind of look wrinkly. Plus, I'm also not going and trying to blend anything. I'm just going to go in directly and put color on. We have these beautiful shimmers, and I want this green one. And in my personal opinion, most of the time, shimmers apply best with your finger. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going in like almost the whole thing, but leaving a tiny bit on the end. This color is so pretty. I am just a sucker for green. I don't know when it happened, but I really love it. So now with my finger, I'm gonna get this smudge off purple color. I'm gonna put that on the end. And kind of tap that into the green. There we go. 
so pretty. And we have this one called Synergy right here. So I'm going to take my finger and just between the two, kind of blend it like that. Just to make our transition more flawless. I also like to grab like a, this I use for highlighter and I'm going to grab this color Wavelength. And just put it under my brow and let it all kind of blend together. So there are my eyes so far and now we will go ahead and do our foundation. Back to this guy. So I feel like two pumps is probably good. There's one I've seen a lot of people say with CC creams, if you want a fuller coverage, to get a foundation brush first and then just kind of buff it out and then use a beauty blender. I have done that several times, but today I'm just going to use the blender. Uh... By the way, I have the shade Light 210N. Just pull that down my neck. And switch it to this. Another basic that I feel people don't talk about, I mean, if you do makeup all the time, you already know this, but if you don't, then just know with a beauty blender, you do need to wet it. That's when it gets the size and it does blend out a lot better. Some people still prefer not to wet it. In my opinion, it just doesn't make it as flawless looking. See, you can see the redness is gone, the darkness is gone. So those color correctors, they work really well. This shade seems to be pretty close for me. One of my better matches. I do have a really hard time finding things that are like a really good match. All right, so this is the Koki Cosmetics Concealer. It is really light coverage. I like to use it to just kind of brighten up. It is in the color light. And I put it on fairly heavy. But as you can see, it's pretty sheer. I know, like, so stereotypical. Someone on YouTube doing makeup, putting on so much concealer. But again, super, super light. At least right now because I am about to eh, I always miss that I am about to add more because that's what we do so to brighten it up I'm going to get this really light Morphe one I'm just putting it in the middle and then here to kind of create a lift on my nose forehead Cupid's bow and chin. I also like to get a little stripe like that. I find that my skin does not like when I let concealer like this sit. If I'm covering a blemish, it seems like it's better if I let it sit for a second. But if I'm just putting it under my under eyes or using it to brighten up my face, then it gets kind of cakey if I let it sit too long, so. I do not. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there. All right. So I feel like we're coming together pretty good here. 
I like to do this so it focuses the concealer to stay on the cupid's bow <laughs> and then blend out the chin and before blending out the sides I'm gonna go in and contour up my face this is the Tristique I don't know bronzer stick it's got a brush on the other side it's a little too dense to me I'm just going to contour out my cheekbones my nose little tip make sure to wrap it around and up to your eyebrows it makes a real difference and then I'd like to put a little under here, tiny bit over here, and of course, let's skinny up that face, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of blend it out. Looks pretty intense, I know. And I feel like this blends out fairly well. Look at these little baby hairs. Oh my gosh. Can't stand them baby hairs. You know that like recording yourself, especially when you don't plan on like editing out a bunch of time because you wanna, I wanna be realistic on how long this takes me and everything. Obviously I get a little distracted so. It's not like perfect as to how much time it is because I go a little faster when I'm not talking and everything, but I like to get a realistic time. However, it starts making me realize like, oh my gosh, you are taking so long. So I see the clock tell me like I'm at 22 minutes. Gosh, so freaking baby hairs. All right. So now we are going to set our under eyes. I'm using the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. And I'm just going underneath my eyes. This one is a little more white, which I like for under my eyes. I need a little bit more. I've actually gone through this one really fast. I feel like setting powders, I go through like so quick, that and foundations. But I've been getting a lot of foundations lately, a lot of good ones. As you can tell, by the way, I'm putting this one everywhere that I put that highlight. And I'm actually going to take my beauty blender and push it where I put the lighter powder before, or lighter concealer and I'm just gonna push it all down to blend it out and then I'm gonna get the I have the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in medium you do not want a lot of this and I lost the brush okay see it is very dark so I'm going to make sure it's not too much. And when I start it, I'm going to start it in an area that I can darken up. Like where I bronze. And then I'm just going to bring it all over my face. And down my neck. Okay. That is done, and we're gonna go back into our eyes and just get underneath here. I want to grab, let's see. I'm so like random on my brushes what I wanna use. I'm gonna use this brush right here. It's kind of like flat-ish, but fluffy. And I'm going to take the Over the Moon again. 
and put it underneath. get this more dense brush and go back in with the stuck on you and take that closer I'm gonna mostly just focus it on the outside come in about halfway on both sides if you are still with me at this point Wow, I'm impressed. I even want to get the green one more time and just make sure it's really bright. There we go. <laughs> I hate to say this, but this reminds me of this movie. My kids love zombies. Like, these are the colors, the pink and green. Okay, so I have gone through a majority of my things. And now I'm going to, of course, do a little more bronze and contour because that's just who I am. Second darkest shade in this Ace Beauty bronze palette. And I'm just going to, I'm taking like a small foundation brush. I feel like that kind of sits in my crease really well. I don't want to get any more product. I'm just going to, I said crease. I guess it is a crease, the crease of my cheekbone like that. But that's what I was talking about. I'm not getting extra product and I'm just putting it on those spots. And then I am getting bronzer going in with this lightest shade with one dip in there. And just bringing that right to there. Alright, that is where we're at. I also forgot that I wanted to take that second darkest shade and put it on my chin. appear okay so for blush and highlight we're going in with the same thing I love this this is the Ofra good to go mini mix palette this highlighter it's got all these colors in it I like to use all of them it is so beautiful I just do like this little swish Ooh. Okay, if you have not used Ofra's highlighters, it is very hard to compare any other ones to it. We are now beaming. I'm going to do the brow a little and inner corners of my eye just to brighten it all up. And then, of course... Cupid's bow. Now, I love how people try to offend you on your personal preference. <laughs> By love, I mean it drives me nuts, but in another way, it's kind of funny. Because I always like to make a really bright Cupid's bow. It, it dies down at the end of the day, you know. But I had someone once tell me it looked like I was snorting coke. <laughs> and I honestly just laughed. Because who cares? I'm going to get this pink blush shade in here and kind of focus on the apples on my cheek and then bring it upwards so don't mind me and my coke snort in cupid's bow also that's really the majority of my makeup now we have the brows which takes me forever, except I just realized I do want to go in with eyeliner first. This is the ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner in the color Exit. Like a really pretty white. It is waterproof. And it stays really well. It just makes my eyes look more open, which I like. You know, as you get older, you need those things to... Brighten up your eyes and your under eyes and make you look more awake. So 
So there is that. For my brows, I'm just going to get this It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. And I'm going to go underneath to sculpt it out. And then just slightly fill in right here. And then I like to just kind of make this shape like that. And do the same thing over here. It's funny to me how different people's brow preferences are. I like a little more natural brow. So that is how it is as of now. I'm gonna get a spoolie and blend out the front and then just kind of blend it all. And there we are, really simple brow, but I feel like it's nice if you have a decent shape to your brows, which I feel like I mostly do, then that's the way to go. Okay, and we are now on my very favorite mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater, and I am obsessed. If you can't tell, I do not have much lashes, and this makes a huge difference for me. So I'm going to get this one done after a single coat and show you the difference. I mean, they're not the longest lashes in the world, but considering that difference, like, I love this. I have been wanting to try the Sky High. I have heard so many good things. Um... You know, it's a huge TikTok sensation right now as well. And I have not tried it yet. I have like a tiny little, do you guys get those tiny little like linty hairs while you're doing your makeup and you're like, ah, don't itch it. I can feel it. I can. Oh my gosh, I'm going to scratch my foundation off. Okay, we're going to go in again. I still didn't dip back in. Because I don't like it to be way too much product. Okay, really random question, guys. But tell me if you agree. Are these lashes longer than these lashes? Like, I feel like they are. Especially on the ends. Unless you see me doing something ridiculously wrong, like, tell me if you do. That's what's causing the problem. All right. And I'm just going to, I dipped in again now for the first time I'm re-dipping. And just pulling it through the lashes one more time. And then I'm going to go on the bottom lashes because I don't like too much product when I do my bottom lashes. All right, so the last thing we have to do is put on our lips. So again, Ace Beauty, I don't know when I started loving Ace Beauty, but I just do. This is, man, this is gonna drive me nuts, guys. You're gonna be like, stop touching your nose. All right, this is a nude lip liner from them. I like it a lot. You can make it bigger, it's got the um, sharpener there and I'm just going to slightly overline my lips and by slightly I mean a whole lot I don't like to overline the top as much
and then slightly fill in. Okay, so there is our lip liner. And now I'm going to go in with my favorite lipstick. It is worth it. It The price fluctuates from like, I got this when it was down to $3. Um, it goes up to eight to 10. This is the Revlon Matte Lipstick in Untold Stories. And it is incredible. It is my favorite nude. And then we're gonna go in with a little gloss of gloss. Actually, first I'm gonna get this concealer again, the Koki, and put it right in the middle of my lips. And just kind of tap it out. Now I'm gonna go in with some gloss and I'm just going to use I have this Wet n Wild gloss that came in the like crystal set. And this has a really pretty sheen to it. It's like mostly like white almost with glitter. I'm just gonna put it like line my lips with it and then go in the middle. Now I'm gonna do Kind of do the top, and there are my lips. I did this Instagram survey yesterday, and I'm like, Are my lips too much? Yes or no? I got zero answers. Normally, I get answers, and I think it was literally like too much to them, and nobody wanted to hurt my feelings. So, this is my look today. For me, it's fairly neutral. I think it's pretty. The last product I will tell you that I love is this Sweet Chef brand, Ginger Kombu Kombucha? Chill Mist with vitamin D. It has such a nice mist as this nice little ginger flavor and here we are I don't know why I'm singing so much today I apologize for that so yes those are some of my favorite products it wears well as you can see these pores I mean they're still there but they're a lot better than before I'm gonna kind of tap this where my makeup creases there we go And here we are. Tell me what you think of this look. And thanks for joining me. I know it was a long road, but I'm happy you're here. I'm happy to be here. And if you like my video, please subscribe. If you don't, that's cool. You know, you can even give me a not like, but I just, I just wanted to hang out with you. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I hope to see you again soon. If you can think of any video you like, by the way, I just realized I was going to use this blush and forgot. Let's just show you real fast what it looks like because it's pretty. It's this pretty little pink shiny shade. That would have been really nice, huh? I don't want to overdo it though. ADD! Yay! Okay, have a great day guys and I hope you liked this video. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't, maybe I bored you to death. Either way, have a great day. Bye.